everybody and welcome back to the vlog today is monday february the 28th last day of february tomorrow starts tomorrow starts march which i'm super excited about because march usually means a warmer weather for us and seasons starting to change and i just my favorite season is winter technically fall and winter but i'm always so ready for spring when it's time so i'm excited to get the kids outside to play more and the flowers blooming all of that fun stuff that comes with spring starting to plant a garden i've got my little raised bed garden that i need to put up on the back porch and then josh is going to build me some for outside lots of fun stuff in the spring but anyway it's lunchtime here we're finished up with school it's almost one i am about to make myself a sandwich the kids are either doing they want a cereal some of them want a cereal today so some are doing cereal for lunch some are doing sandwiches we have leftover sloppy joes so some are doing leftover sloppy joes just a variety of things today so i'm gonna make myself another turkey sandwich with some pickles and then start cleaning up a little bit i've still got several things that need to be done around here that need to be picked up that i didn't get to first thing this morning this right here is my favorite favorite bread right now it's the sara lee honey wheat bread so very good to make sandwiches with all right so here's my lunch today it's just a turkey sandwich with mayonnaise and sweet pickles some pickles on the side and chips all right i'm gonna start a load of towels real quick i should have done this first thing this morning but i had things in the washer and i needed to get started on school so i like when i'm ahead of the game but some days it's not like that so I think I'm going to go ahead and load the washer and fix myself an afternoon cup of coffee. All right, so I decided to go ahead and fix a blueberry latte. Some of y'all have asked me if the blueberry crumble is good, the blueberry crumble coffee beans. One of my favorites, y'all. It is absolutely delicious. I love it, and it smells wonderful. And some of y'all have shared your favorites with me, which I'm excited to try um, on my next order. So if you have a favorite coffee bean, let me know what it is. Okay, so normally I use whole milk when I froth my milk in this machine, but I ordered this, I think, a week or two ago. It's the Planet Oat oat milk. I had the vanilla, and I did not like it at all. I really don't prefer the vanilla. I like the original or the extra creamy, so I'm going to use this today instead of whole milk. And a little secret that I do with my froth milk, let me show you. So this can be done whether you have an espresso machine or if you just have a frother that you just froth by hand. This is what I do. Well, don't spill it. That's not one thing to do. Let's try this again. All right, so you just pour in your milk of choice, whether that be oat milk, whole milk, 2% milk, whatever. I pour that in, and so I like my coffee sweet. So I add a little bit of creamer in to froth it. I don't do just the milk. I add in some sweetener, some creamer in it, um, because I do like my lattes a little bit sweeter, so. In other news, Millie is seven months old today the 28th so she's seven months how can it be that she's closer to a year old than she is when she was born I just I, I can't see how that's possible it feels like I just had her yesterday and then Everly's birthday is in just a few days her birthday is March 9th I go ahead and clean this off right away so the milk doesn't stick to it all right man the little ones are headed outside now I'm gonna check on the chickens I'm gonna give them some feed some water and check us if we have some eggs since the coop has been moved makes it much easier just to walk through the backyard to get here instead of having to go all the way through the fence in the field so they're right here are you girls waiting to eat so are you girls waiting to eat we have 10 eggs oh my you may want to run up there and get the basket for them okay there we go. <laughs> Mama, on or off? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There we go. I turned the water on. Now I'm gonna go see my mom. Where? Get now the chicken coop. And yeah. what is it? And we're going in the backyard. Let's go in our secret hideout, Amy. Hey. Let me go in my secret hideout. And it's really sunny today. So that's why our mom's out. She comes outside when it's sunny. So Josh decided to add deer meat to the spaghetti.
after dinner, we ran out for a minute. We had to run by the church. Um, I wanted to put some di diapers in the church because I noticed we were getting out. So I put them in there and I also wanted to get the youth book because I'm teaching youth this Wednesday night. So we ran in there for one minute. Now we're getting back in the car. I didn't stop by the grocery store. I have not done a like big grocery haul yet. I've just done like little hauls here and there. So I need to stop by the grocery store and get a few things because the girls are back to school tomorrow. My three oldest girls. And they need some stuff to pack for lunch. So. It's already almost 7.30. We're gonna stop by the grocery store real quick and then head back home and start getting everyone ready for bed. Everly has actually already got a nap in the car, which it's, gonna be, it's probably gonna be hard to get her to sleep tonight. Okay, so we are back home now and I am going to make some of this country farmhouse white bread. So it's like a process. It takes eight to 10 hours, as you can tell, to sit. So I'm gonna let it sit overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and start the process cover it and let it sit all, all night long and then in the morning I will just get up and finish the rest of it which will only take about an hour so I'm gonna go ahead and start this it looks delicious okay so the first thing that we are going to go in with is one third cup of bubbly starter let me show you what my starter looks like it's definitely bubbly I just fed it this morning see how beautiful that is I am so excited so that is my starter so I'm going to add in one third cup of starter. Here's one third cup. Now we're going to add in one and one fourth cups of water. One tablespoon of sugar. Now one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Alright, now we're just going to whisk all of this together with a fork. Alright, so now we're going to add in three and one third cups of bread flour. Now it's time for three-fourths of all-purpose flour and half a teaspoon of fine sea salt. So now I'm going to combine all of this. Okay, so you want to finish working with it with your hands until you have it into like a perfect formed ball. It took me a little while to do this, but once you get it done, you just put it into a bowl and cover it for 8 to 10 hours. Okay, y'all, so it's the next morning now. I let this sit overnight. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my board here. Now what we want to do is just kind of push out any air bubbles that may be in it and kind of work it into like a log shape for loaf bread. So I'm going to keep rolling it so there's no kind of rough ends. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of oil in my bread pan and rub it all around. I'm just going to sit here and make sure it's all pulled together tightly and then stick it in my loaf pan and bake it at 375 for about 40 minutes. All right, there we go, it's going in now. Y'all, the bread was so, so very good. It was delicious. It got gone in one day, like the whole family kept eating on it. They had it with supper that night. We had baked CD and it was just, it was delicious, so good.